Paper slide video, star review. Question. Mr. Barber wants to have the entire roof of his house replaced. The cost of the roof is $2.10 per square foot. What will be the cost for Mr. Barber to have the roof replaced? This is a measurement problem. See the ruler I've drawn here, and of course it's broken. It looks a lot like the rulers in the classroom. Uh, it's also specifically a measurement problem about area, where we have to find the area. And area is a unit of measurement that's measured in square units. You can see the diagram here. It's two units this way, three units this way, for a total of two times three, which is six square units. Specifically with this problem, we have a roof that needs to be replaced. You can see the diagram of the house here, and it gives some measurements. Um, 55 is the length drawn here at the base of the house, which would also be identical to the length uh, of the roof. And then we have the width of the roof, which is 16 feet drawn here. So Mr. Barber thinks to himself, first of all, how much area will be replaced? And two, what's going to be the total cost if it's $2.10 per square foot? Again, to find the area, we multiply length times width, or we call it base times height. With this house, specifically the roof, uh, we're going to find the area, length times width. The length is going to be 55 feet times the width of 16, and 55 times 16 is 880. So this side of the roof is 880 square feet. Don't forget that the roof has two sides, so we're going to multiply 880 times 2 for a total of 1,760 square feet. The cost is going to be $2.10 per square foot. Per means to multiply. Each square foot of roofing is going to be $2.10. So, $2.10 times 1,760 square feet for a grand total of $3,696.